Her Excellency Alexandra Burke von Linde, Ambassador of Sweden, for the closing remarks of this session. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Her Excellency Alexandra Burke von Linde, Ambassador of Sweden. Good. Ladies and gentlemen and dear friends, uh, first of all, uh, a warm welcome uh, and a warm thanks, I mean, to our panelists. Uh, and their input into the third segment of this day's seminar. I think this discussion really shows that the subject of processes within logistics is one that spurs not only interest, but also a lot of engagement. And I have certainly learned a lot uh, about the, of today's discussion. Um, celebrating 50 years of bilateral relations between the Nordics and Bangladesh this year, there is, of course, a lot to say about the future, but, and I will not uh, say much about it, but needless to say, we see a lot of scope for increased cooperation when it comes to sustainability and sustainable growth. Areas in which the logistics sectors, uh, as has been highlighted here today, plays a central part. As the Honorable Minister of Commerce commented this morning, uh, the logistics and infrastructure will play an important role in the future growth of Bangladesh. Uh, I will not attempt to summarize uh, the discussions uh, this afternoon, but the perspectives pertaining to management, impact and facilitation of the flow of work and trade seems to be fundamental to building a strong infrastructure within logistics. The increased trade will result in the need for efficient and long-term sustainable development, management and maintenance of the ports and other infrastructure projects as well. As we all look forward to Bangladesh graduating from LDC status, we know uh, that the country will be even more interested in keeping abreast of global standards, ensuring its global competitiveness. This is even truer for the logistics arena, as all industries and sectors inevitably crisscross through logistics, transports and terminals and heavily rely on it. Therefore, on one hand, it is essential to build a well-equipped logistics infrastructure. And on the other hand, it is also to be noted that under the carpet, the logistic carpet lies a wealth of processes and procedures that need to be achieved. No doubt, diverse logistics, uh, diverse logistic infrastructure development, including ports and multimodal sub-regional transport connectivity is essential. However, apart from investing in physical infrastructure, it is also important to strengthen the underlying processes governing log logistics. Things like getting the right people around the right table on a regular basis, having predictable decision-making processes and aligning the interest of various stakeholders is key to long-term success. Making the underlying processes with respect to logistics devoid of difficulty and efficiency, hence directly and indirectly enhances the growth of any country and is especially true for Bangladesh as a frontier market. As long-standing partners, uh, we see this seminar as a way to underline the importance of logistics infrastructure competitive, competitiveness for increased business and trade. Updated systems of trade, such as digital paperless transactions and upgraded technologies together with appropriate capacity development, will also play vital roles in ensuring efficient processes. It will also contribute to increasing transparency and competitiveness, not least by reducing time and effort in service delivery and connectivity. For Bangladesh, efficient logistics will enhance its competitive edge substantially, reducing costs of doing business with the Nordic countries and the EU. Sweden is one of the top ranked uh, countries in World Bank's last logistics performance index. And why would I mention this? One of the underlying reasons being that Sweden as an export dependent country uh, recognized that efficient custom procedures and the quality of the infrastructure for overland and maritime transport help, in, uh, help enhance 
trade relations, something that we are very dependent on. With growing customer expectations on faster and greener supply chains, we all need to reduce red tapes in logistics to be relevant, otherwise we risk being redundant. In this regard, when processes need to be globally aligned, Nordic companies and solutions can also assist in developing local resources, capacities and streaming processes in Bangladesh. During these past years, I think the COVID-19 pandemic has taught us that change is the new constant. Being able to adjust and adapt to the pressing global circumstances will also be the new business strategy for logistics. Together with this, policies need to reflect and cater to the demands of the future of Bangladesh, keeping the vision for 2040 in mind. This direction of the future of logistics sector is well underpinned by today's expert discussions. When we forecast for, future, for the future and the sustainability of the logistics sector, it goes without saying that this underlying process of change will require active participation from all stakeholders. So in sum, we look forward to continuing to push this uh, joint agenda uh, as Nordics and within the EU and to join hands in exploring the possibilities for the future even further. I thank you, Donovan. Thank you, Excellency, for your continuous support and guidance for the NCCI. We look forward to working with your office in our upcoming events. Ladies and gentlemen, now we'll take a short 15 minutes break and we'll return back for the last session titled Policies and Roadmap Ahead. Thank you.